Yeah, I shimmied up this fucking thing. And then I'm looking up at this cave up in there, but I can't really see up there. And it seems sketchy as fuck going up there because it's wet right now. So a lot of people don't know this, but this sandstone here is not really stone. It's compressed sand. So one wrong move. And it's happened to me before. The handhold breaks off. You're fucked. You're falling. I don't want to fall down there. Okay, so if it is there, that's going to be another trip. Because <clears throat> you can just see how steep it is down there. Okay. Maybe we could try to go around. See if that's possible. But it <clears throat> doesn't seem too likely. There's going to be a way around. And uh, there's no way around. But there is a caves here. So I feel like we're getting closer. But, woo, but we're not there yet, okay? So I'm gonna actually go down this way and let the dogs come meet me on the other side. Have them meet me over here. Because I was sketchy when I went up. There's <sighs> more caves, but no paintings. And it doesn't really seem like any way down. So despite my original idea, might have to go shimmy down. Here's this little waterfall he was telling me about. I don't really see any way to go around it. Up there, seems super fucking sketchy. And on the other side as well, we were just looking at that, was super sketchy. So, a lot of times it's tough when you're hiking with the dogs because they don't have arms. So you can reach something and grab, do like a pull up, but it's hard for the dogs. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to pull out the um, there's vines. I don't know if I'm gonna have to pull out the um, rope and the harnesses, or if we could kind of make our way up this loose thing. It's literally poison oak everywhere. You could see that's why I got gloves carefully, because if you don't wear gloves, you can't pee. Because if your hand touches poison oak. And then you pee, oh yeah, you're getting poison oak all over your package. So, earlier we were hiking, oh God. And what happened? Tay almost got chopped in the head with a machete. Tay, I'll find a trail, go on. See, this stuff's loose. So, she almost got chopped, but uh, this is so loose. I gotta get off the camera. Use my arms to get up this thing. Easy. No, Tay. Henry, back up. I don't. Henry, back up. Henry, back up. Yeah. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't like it when they crowd each other because. Come on, Henry. Get behind me. Back up. Come on, Henry. Back. Back. Henry tends to be a little bit of a dope. So I'm going to get off. Hike this section. Come on, go. What I'll do sometimes is I just tell them, hey, stay back there and wait. I'm gonna find a trail, and then if I find the trail, I'm gonna call you guys to follow me. But in this case, I didn't want them to follow me. It was super sketchy. So I said, go around. And they did it, they went around. Can't emphasize enough what a amazing experience is to be out here with these animals and get away from the cliff. Get away from the cliff. Hey, come here, come here, come, 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 come. That was sketchy. Henry almost knocked you over. Looked like we found a little, there was like a waterfall in a cave over there. I would have filmed, but I'm nervous about the time because it's getting late and I haven't seen any signs of the mysterious San Antonio Creek cave painting. Some people said this was actually Zorro's cave, the mythical legend of Zorro. She came from Santa Barbara. And some people said this is where Zorro's cave is. Taya, come on. These guys love standing at the edge of cliffs. Poison oak everywhere. Okay, I'll see you guys. Oh my God. This is by far the gnarliest bushwhacking I have ever done and the most dangerous because this whole hillside it's super fucking loose. 
and it's above a giant cliff. So I'm gonna put my phone away, but this is the type of shit we're going through. The water's down there. We're up on the side of this hill. Look at these hills here, okay? That's the type of shit we just crawled up, something like that. Jones, don't die. Jones, Henry, just stay where you are, bro. Okay, I don't know where I am. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go back. I think I'm gonna have to hit the road at the top of the canyon and turn around, hit the road and walk back on the road because this is fucking crazy. Look at this, it's just impenetrable brush. But we gotta get down there. Holy fuck, so it's like, got a couple more hours of daylight and I was looking at the map here. Oh my God. And I realize I've not gone as far as I thought I had to go. There's definitely no way I'm gonna be able to make it back. If I keep going, there's no way I'm gonna be able to make it back the way I came because first of all, that was just super fucking sketchy and dangerous. But you can see right here, here's where I am. That's where I started there. The road is way the fuck up here. So to finish that's a pain in the ass. I think what we're gonna do is go up here. If we don't see the cave in this little rock section where I thought it was, we're cutting up this side canyon here. We're gonna hit the road and we're gonna come go back to the road and then try to call an Uber or a friend to come pick us up at the top of the mountain because it's gonna be a long fucking walk home. But whatever, you know, these guys did really good. At one point Henry was totally trapped by vines. But yeah, we're gonna keep hiking. Okay. Yeah, and the best part is the battery is like almost dead on the iPad and the battery's very low and it's not almost dead on my phone. So that adds a very fun dynamic where we don't know if we're even gonna be able to call somebody to get a ride when we want one. But whatever, just out here with the dogs having fun. Gonna have to take a serious poison oak bath when I get home, holy shit. Oh my God. This is the gnarliest of all my hikes I've ever done. This is by far the gnarliest fucking hike I've ever been on. Well, anyways, we're trying to get up the canyon. We hit another fucking waterfall. I'm sitting here saying, fuck me. Are you fucking kidding me? It's starting to get dark. There's another fucking waterfall to go up. Teos starts rambling up this way. Dude, and then I seen it up here. I found the painting, folks. And the crazy part is, it's the exact same one I saw in my dream last night. It's fucking crazy. I've seen this painting so many times in my dreams and i don't know i don't know if we can go back even the way we came because it was so sketchy that i literally would rather pay a hundred dollars for a cab ride but check this out high up on the cliff i don't even know how we found this it's a fucking cave painting what the fuck let me get up there and get a close view at this thing holy shit Fucking beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful paintings I've ever seen in my life. You can see at one time it had orange pigment, red pigment, white pigment. Here is a faded panel, had a little bit of blue even. Everything's gone now except these two. That one and that one. To get some perspective, here's the painting. There is the bottom of the canyon. How we ended up fucking up here, I don't know. It was through the ancestors. It's just hard to explain what this means to me. It's hard to put into words. What the fuck? To get some perspective, here's the painting. There is the bottom of the canyon. How we ended up fucking up here, I don't know. It was through the ancestors. It's just hard to explain what this means to me. It's hard to put into words. What the fuck? Believe it or not, I've seen this image in my dreams many times. I've seen the black sun. The black and orange sun sign. Now I gotta figure out how to get back from this fucking hellhole. It was so, there's like a bunch of waterfalls. We can't even go back the way we came. Oh my God. After I found the site, I started becoming aware that I might not make it out of here before dark. So I'm fucking stuck in this canyon. I keep going up and up and up. 